Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we, where we play talk games. about game design. Games. And Chris messes up a lot. Games are and so. Chris, oh. Chris messes up a lot. Oh. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> so before the episode Do started, I was like... you even realize how long that took? It, 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 it was like five it minutes. It took an entire episode and then five minutes. Oh, this, this is not that Even I am unsubscribing from this. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I was going to talk about uh, how way, way back in the day, um, before... Way back in the D? Well, before we even really knew what we were doing, before you were even on the show, actually, uh, Nathan and I recorded a game called The Sun and the Moon. And it's it's a game by Daniel Linson, um, who is one of my favorite game designers. But unfortunately, that game was relatively... It was, it was actually pretty poorly designed in that it had way, way too much content. There was way too many levels. Um, and so it reused a lot of the same things over and over again to the point where it started feeling redundant this so game <laughs> yeah uh this game is is only eight levels and i feel like each of the levels each level is so different and uh unique that i really get something new every single time i play or uh, wow i'm talking really poorly each level is is uh very interesting <laughs> That's Thinking what I, that's, words. That's okay. boom. That that part requires. There has to be something on the left. Oh no! No 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 no! Come back! Shit! Were you going for the? So you're supposed to run around in circles in that spot, like I did in most of the oh. other areas in this level. The problem I had was that I accidentally step on two platforms at once, uh. and it causes them to both fall. Yeah, that's that's actually what tends to kill me more than anything in this level. Um, Other yeah. than the fact that the game is just too much for you? It's, you know, I never really claim to be good at these games or games in general, but, you know, yeah. Done. How did you not die? Because I'm a boss. So I. Uh, careful. Ooh. This isn't like, why are you loading it up? Yeah, well, I thought I had That's more okay. distance. It's okay. I um. <laughs> So games. Dance. I guess. I guess. Uh, shit. What was I going to talk about? Now you messed me up. Oh, I, did I mess you up? Did I pull your focus from this dynamite performance? Dynamite. 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 So I'm. I'm really excited okay, to. Uh, really yeah. What? What? Oh no. Shh. I think it's that's it. I think it's that's, it. That's, 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 that's it. That's it. Damn it. it. Fuck, Chris. Man, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. This dude. is the level that will never end. That's not true. It does end. Chris just can't. Get it. I'll just, I'll just get better. I'll do it, guys. I can, I can change. I can. Tell you what. How about we pause so okay. we can get through this? We will pause. Okay. We already paused. We're paused right now. Yes, we are. Still dicks. paused. Just dicks everywhere. Dicks. Dicks. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Bam! I know what I'm doing because I'm a ball. <laughs> it stops right there. <laughs> You know, okay, so that that's one thing I actually do think could have been an improvement in this game. So sound effects are obviously a, a pretty important thing in this game. Do not touch red projectiles. How are about they that red? complete sentence? They, they are red. I can't see red, so I actually don't Every know. enemy in this game has been red. Oh, that's cool. The background is also pink. That I actually did know, um, because the surrounding stuff is green, right? R right? Uh, sh yeah, we'll go with green. I have no idea. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. All right. Just leave it. Leave it. What does it do? Nothing. So why grab? I am, because I can. Why else? <laughs> cool. <laughs> I play games. What was I, I talking? play games, you bitch. I keep forgetting what I was talking about because you keep saying funny stuff. Oh, oh, I was what talking about mean? sound effects. Okay, so one thing that I think this game could have used to... It, there are two things, actually, um, that I think this game really, really could have utilized to, um, to feel more polished. And it's that, A, there's no music at all, which um, I think is unfortunate because... 
because I die a lot. And uh, listening to music while I die. <laughs> no, but, but honestly, like, music, I feel like this isn't the kind of game where not having music makes, like, it not having music enhances it. I don't think that this is that kind of game. No. So I think having music would have enhanced the game. Yeah. Um, and, you know, honestly, the reason why there is no music is probably just because the the guy that made this game, uh, Peter Kirk, maybe he's just not a musician, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and I, I totally respect that. I've made music for some of my games before, and Good it w Lord. oh my oh my, I've made music for some of my games, and it's awful, which is why I have a music guy, <laughs> because I need him. Oh, oh. Um, oh that oh. reminds me. Go, 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 go. Hopefully, uh, oh oh oh, this gets oh, so my tough. Oh God. <laughs> Um, hopefully soon, by the way, for our channel, we're gonna have a new theme song. Really? Yeah. So, I don't know if you- Game Dev Play Games! <laughs> no, it's Riding not- on cars! It's not gonna be that crazy. So, um, the, the song that we use for the intro and the outro, those are actually songs that we created for a game, uh, we were working on. Oh! It was, I think it was like... Three, four years ago at this point, it was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, this was a bit. Ago. Um, shit, I didn't want to do this. This is uh. This was this was back when we were worked working on Cobalt Conquest. That, that yep. Um, which you know, honestly, I'm still disappointed that that game never saw the light of of day. Um, oh, my. oh geez. Oh man. No, 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 come back. Oh no. Um, it was no. You're going oh, too far. Okay, no. good. You're coming back. So Cobalt Conquest was going to be a um, like sort of a classic take on or a modern take on classic RPGs, where uh, you know, oh my! So you have to shine the light only to a certain degree and then take the light off of it so you can get to the end of the platform without running into the projectiles. That's tough. Oh. But uh, so Cobalt Conquest was going to be a game that was like a modern spin on classic turn-based RPGs, um, kind of playing off the idea of... Uh, of death? Of, of death? Uh, of kobolds being the, like, the, the, like, um, the weak monster, like, the level one enemy, the first monster that you kill, yeah. and... Other than, like, rats and rabbits, for some reason, in some games? Rabbits? I guess yeah. I've seen that a couple of times. Usually so it's, uh, like, blue slimes or things like oh, that. Oh, the goose. Yeah, goose. Um... Which I, I always Ooh. love. Covert, Covert and I, uh, one of the programmers I work with um, on troll game stuff, he uh, he loves slimes. And mm -hmm. someday, the, during the last game jam we did, we uh, talked about doing a slime rancher game, yeah, cool. uh, which would be really, really fun, and I'd love to do that at some point. Um, but anyway... Uh, Don't do it too much. Oh, <sighs> It's tough. But, uh, so Cobalt Conquest was supposed to be like the Kobolds strike back and, and kind of make a place for themselves in the world. And so it was going to be a very, like, um, like, consequence and, uh, choice kind of game, oh, but in a, those. in a turn-based RPG. So oh. I, I, it was going to be really fun. We were going to, damn it. We were going to have a lot of, um, like, intertwining systems. We were going to have a warfare system, yeah. a political system, and, and a, you know, normal RPG skirmish that's system. ambitious. Oh, it was way, way too ambitious. So that's why we failed. Because we had one programmer, I was the only artist, and we had a shitload of designers because I didn't put the team together. No uh, offense, guys, but... <laughs> You need to have a balanced team. Um, that was the project that really, really taught me how to be a good project manager. Um, because I learned that micromanaging a team is not good management. Mm -hmm. And also, having the right team, like, you don't want to have 20 writers and, you know, one programmer and one artist. Because what the hell do you do with that? Left, left. Shit. Damn it. Uh. Next time on Game Devs Play Games. Are we at that point? I'm pretty sure we I, are. I, th I think we should go a little bit further, if only because we fast-forwarded. Um, oh. So I don't know if we hit our... I, we might have hit our 10-minute mark. I'm not totally sure. We'll go a min another minute or two. Hopefully okay. to... Uh, wait. Oh, I didn't shoot it. <gasps> huh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Cobalt Conquest. It was... It yeah. was... Uh, 
We worked on that game for a year and a half. Uh, actually, maybe a little bit longer than that, but officially a year and a half. <laughs> and unofficially for, like, another half of a year. I remember uh, there was one time when uh, you guys had, like, either just finished or, like, you... I, yeah, that was it. You guys had just finished meeting up for um, getting work done for that game. And uh, I was hanging out over there. And uh, this was at Nathan's old uh, old apartment. And um, this this wasn't point, when I was living with Nathan. Yes. Was it? Oh, okay. So it was also my apartment. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, at one point, we decide like, screw it, let's play Guns of Icarus online. And uh, that was when <laughs> I I I broke everybody's concentration because the entire game, anytime people would be like, Cujo, you gotta go do something. Cujo, you gotta go do this. And be like, bleh! Just to oh, be random and stupid. That day. Yes. You remember that day. I very much remember that. I didn't even know why you were doing it. You were just so, going, bleh! And I was like, what? What is so happening? There was, there was an episode of The Simpsons that had uh, some like random like mini cutaway thing before Family Guy was a thing. Uh, what did you do? I, did you break? Did you break the game? I don't know. These platforms aren't coming back. Could check the immediate right, maybe? Anything? Hmm... Um, yeah, man. I don't know. Maybe the game bugged out or something. Well, oh, well. shit. Well, anyway, we will end the episode here. I'll and, continue uh, the story next episode. Oh boy! Wow! Wow! At one point, it like the episode starts, and everyone's sitting on the couch watching TV, and uh, the cutaway is just like, and now we return to Dracula Eight. Blair! And then that was it. That they just go along with the rest of the scene. <laughs> so I just felt like, like, bleh, all day.